world's biggest infrastructure projects is being built by a Chinese company. Nicaragua's ambitious canal project is expected to be one of the largest trans-ocean waterways in the world. Frank Contreras reports on how it may intensify a competition between both Panama and Nicaragua. Long before the Panama Canal opened in 1914, American and British builders wanted to create a transoceanic canal in Nicaragua. But for more than 100 years, the Panama Canal has been the only transoceanic system in the hemisphere. Until now, the Hong Kong Nicaragua Development Group has been building roads, which will be used to bring heavy digging machinery into the Nicaraguan state of Rivas. This is the location where the Grand Nicaraguan Canal will eventually open to the Pacific Ocean, making way for some of the world's largest cargo ships to pass through Central America. Many logistics experts expect a bright future for global shipping, and they say by the time the Nicaragua Canal is in place, the amount of cargo moving on the world's oceans will continue to expand. Over the decades, the size of cargo ships has been growing, and global shipping experts expect that trend to continue. Across like Nicaragua. The chief advisor for the Nicaragua Canal says soon many cargo ships will be far too large to pass through the Panama Canal. Ship owners are moving to bigger ships. There's no issue about that. Huh? So we see that as a major element of our, of our business line, our business case. He says it all comes down to greater efficiency. The, the container ships have been getting bigger. Right, because unit costs go down as a ship gets bigger. This point, which is a leading economist in Nicaragua, agrees. The transportation system is moving towards larger vessels. There is more trade, uh, particularly of grain, of uh, uh, commodities uh, that require, uh, for economies of scale purposes, uh, you know, larger vessels. And right now, we cannot go through Panama uh, with these larger vessels. Logistics experts say more and more cargo will cross the world's vast oceans, and they project that there will be plenty of business to keep both the Panama and Nicaragua canals busy full-time. Frank Contreras, CCTV, in Riva State, Nicaragua.